Oh, what is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to get the brand new Diamond Takeover Derek Coleman here in NBA 2K23, my team. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 9,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day and would really appreciate it if you do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. First of all, let's just take a look at this Derek Coleman card real quick. Obviously not a huge name to get a takeover player, but he looks like a pretty solid stretch big. Interested to see how good he actually is though 94 overall 610 uh, 96 offense 93 defense he's got an 80 driving layup decent post game 87 three ball 75 standing driving dunk is nothing crazy not a great ball handler mediocre but not bad defender just not amazing solid rebounder 80 speed and excels okay for a power forward he looks all right he doesn't look special at all hoff bully masher catch and shoot corner specialist brick wall are five actually pretty good hoff so that's nice uh 25 golds he's gonna have a bunch of solid gold badges on the interior as well a few good golds shooting badges no limitless range or anything like that he does have anchor Looks like he's going to be decent. Nothing too crazy at the power forward position, but if he's got a good release, he looks like he'll be a pretty solid card. Uh, to get this card, you got to complete six challenges, which is match his career high in points, rebounds, and blocks, which is 40, 42 points with the Nets power forward, 24 rebounds in a game with any players uh, just combined, and then nine blocks in a game as well. Um, definitely would recommend completing all these in the inside scoring challenges, just like I normally would recommend. 250 points with Nets players over multiple games as well is not going to be particularly hard. Um, again, can knock that out just in an inside scoring challenge. 40 rebounds to centers. Obviously, that'll just happen as you play the game using your centers. And then five games, one using five Nets players can be completed in the mid-range challenge uh, pretty quickly using five Nets players in your bench or something like that. But not going to be particularly hard to complete this Derek uh, Coleman. Probably, I would say, around a 30-minute to 30 minute to an hour-long grind. Um, I'd say probably closer to an hour. But if you work, you get focus on trying to get this card for about an hour, I think you'll be able to add him to the lineup pretty quickly and pretty easily. And he's going to be a great, great card in my team. So, um, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully it does help you out, show you all how to get the card, and I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.